Hi, I'm Teal. I've always loved watching other Restricted Iron Man series by other old school content creators, and always thought of trying one out myself, but I never knew what to do. After getting 99 Slayer on my main, and now recently my Iron Man, I thought of the perfect count for me to make. A new Iron Man, where everything that I could do would have to revolve around Slayer. I'd make my own set of rules and unlocks to work towards, and try to see how far I could go without being able to properly train any of the other skills. I'm not claiming to be the first person to go down this road, as a few other creators have already attempted or are still currently playing with very similar restrictions, but this is an account I've wanted to play for quite a while now, and I intend to see it through. I'm here to train my favorite skill on a new account. I am here to slay. The rules that I will be following on this account are that I can only fight enemies or train combat stats while I'm on task. Uh, some exceptions for this might be some quest enemies that I need to kill, or uh, some guys I need to kill for a clue scroll step. I cannot equip an item for combat that was not dropped to me by a slayer monster. So no weapons or armor bought from shops can be used in combat. Um, the only time where I can really use items that are not from slayer are if I'm doing a quest or if I'm doing a clue scroll. Then I'll be able to wear those items just for that time and I'll have to take them off as soon as I'm done. As for the gear that you can buy from the slayer masters, once I get a task that requires a certain item to complete it, such as the earmuffs for banshees or the spiny helm for wall beasts, I'll be able to use it at will, at will after that point. As for the Ankyfire shield to use when killing dragons, I'm just going to pretend that that thing is sold from the uh, Slayer shop. It's pretty much just a crappy version of the mirror shield to use for dragons, so it's kind of like a Slayer item already as is. As said before, I can't buy any weapons or armor from the shops to use them for combat, only just for clue scrolls or quests temporarily. But the other items that I can buy from shops will be tools such as spades, hammers, chisels, pots, watering cans, just that kind of miscellaneous stuff. I can buy food, but not raw food to train cooking. Uh, if I want to train cooking, I'll have to use drops from Slayer to do that. As for potions, I'm not going to count potions as food, um, so I won't be able to buy like attack, strength, and defense potions, or any other stat boosting potions for that matter. The only kind of potions I'll be able to buy or pick up off the ground are going to be poisons. Um, I'll try to avoid it as long as I can, but eventually if I get a task that is just going to be impossible to really do without an anti-poison, then I, there's not really much I can do about that. I'll just have to get the anti-poisons. It's not really going to be possible for me to make many anti-poisons on my own. I know some Slayer monsters that are higher level will drop some antidote doses, but uh, as for making my own poisons and super anti-poisons, unicorns aren't a task, so I don't think I'll be able to get many unicorn horns to make my own anti-poisons. I can fight ammunition for mage and range, which means like arrows, bolts, and then also runes. I thought of limiting myself to only be able to use ammunition and runes that are dropped from the slayer monsters, but if I did that, there would be no use for any spare gold that I have. So when I get coin drops or items that I can cast alchemy on, just think of those as almost like rune drops at that point. I will not be able to train skills other than combat skills unless I am using an item that I got from a slayer monster. What I mean by that um, would be, for example, using logs to train fletching or fire making. Um, if a slayer monster drops some ores, I could use that to train smithing. If cows drop cow hides, I could use that to train some crafting. Uh, if they drop seeds, train farming, pure essence for rune crafting, etc., etc. Some gathering skills like mining, fishing, thieving, and woodcutting will have to be trained by either XP lamps or quest rewards. I will not be able to outright train those. As for item spawns, I cannot pick up items like ores, bars, or weapons and armor. I can only pick up items off the ground if they're the kind that I can also buy from shops. Also, to make my cash more dependent on Slayer monsters, um, anything that I can pick up or buy from shops cannot be sold to make money. So, for example, any runes, any ammunition, like even rune arrows, I cannot sell that stuff to the shop to try and make money from it because I can also pick them up. The only coins I can get are from Slayer Monsters themselves or by selling the items that I get from the Slayer Monsters. I've probably already mentioned clue scrolls a couple times, but I will be able to do clue scrolls and I will be able to do quests. Um, I will not be able to train a skill in order to get the requirements for the quest or the clue scroll. I can only do the steps if I already have those required levels. Speaking of quests, here are some unlocks that I set for myself to further restrict my account and make it just a little bit more Slayer dependent. My total quest points must never pass my Slayer level. This means that if I'm Slayer level 5, I cannot have more than 5 quest points. As I continue through the account, I will need to choose my quests wisely because I will only be able to do a small portion of them. Also, because of the restrictions with my other skills, there are going to be many quests that I will either never be able to complete or that 
it will take a very, very long time to meet the requirements for. Another restriction I made related to quests, in order to prevent me bypassing this rule in the early stage of this account, I locked any quests or mini quests that give Slayer XP behind a 20 Slayer requirement. So for example, the poor sign of interest or the museum quiz in Varrock, I cannot do these until I have at least 20 Slayer. This way I couldn't go do that immediately and then just starts questing and boosting up my levels real quickly like that. I want to have to suffer with my low levels kicking monsters for a little bit. The wilderness will be locked until I'm level 40 Slayer. This will prevent me from using the Chaos Altar to heavily boost my prayer level and by and will prevent me from taking advantage of all the many rune spawns that are around the wilderness until I reach that level. At 50 Slayer, I will unlock the Wilderness Slayer Master, which will allow me to get points much faster, as well as Laren's Keys that can provide a decent amount of money, gear upgrades, and supplies to train my other skills. I will not be allowed to use my POH, or Player Owned House, until I get to 75 Slayer. These unlocks, they're not really necessary. They're just little restrictions I wanted to set for myself to make uh, leveling up Slayer a little bit more fruitful, you know? Some future goals or milestones for this account would be getting my first Fire Cape, uh, Slayer Mask, if it's even possible, with my heavy restrictions on skills and ways to train them. Getting at least one Hydra Kill would be amazing. I'm not sure what kind of gear I'll be using for that kill, but uh, that first kill is definitely going to be a long one. And of course the Slayer Cape in the end. Some future unlocks I might have are maybe Recipe for Disaster Gloves somewhere down the line if I, if I complete like a hard enough task. Once I get to 99 Slayer up, maybe I'll allow myself to have unlimited quest points, which will open up a lot more content that I might have missed out on based on my uh, choices with quests through the series. But uh, yeah, as for that, that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm just really excited to, uh, to start this account, so uh, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Wow, I did not realize it was going to take like 7 minutes to read out those rules. Uh, I'm really sorry it took so long. I've just been thinking of the, making this account for so long and... Trying to think through all the rules in the beginning so I don't have to make changes part way. But uh, anyways, here we go. Okay, and the adventure begins. Uh, to start this off, I'm going to give myself a bond from my main account here. Thank you, sir. Alright, we're not going to be able to do much on a free-to-play world. So let's redeem this guy. Kind of need to be on a member's world in order to train Slayer in the first place. So not much I can do about that. There you go, 14 days of membership. Let's get the show on the road. So, first thing I should probably mention is, uh, while I was playing the uh, Trailblazer Leagues, if you saw any of those videos, you might have noticed a few times, uh, like a timer go off in the background. That's because I had a timer set for every 30 minutes uh, to hop on, and again, when the timer went off, it meant it was time to hop on to this account and claim my free runes. So if you're wondering how I possibly am starting off, with so many goddamn runes, it's because I just kept claiming the free runes every like 30 minutes while I was, you know, playing on another account. While I was playing in the leagues on another account. All right, so now in the members' world, the next thing we have to do is purge myself of all these impure items that I got from the uh, tutorial island. I don't know. I'm just gonna sell them all to the shop here, and then uh, I'll just like drop the coins on the ground or something. Oh yeah, another thing too. Um, the Iron Man armor is technically it's it's not allowed. It technically it'd be against the rules, so I'll have to I'll have to destroy this stuff too. Alright, Teriel, my man. Uh I have to What? Give me an assignment. Oh, do I have to Does he have to teach me about Slayer? I've never actually done this before. I've always like done the natural history quiz, I guess, to start my Slayer off off. My Slayer level off. Alright, everybody's my free enchanted gem. That's cool. Okay, well, got our first task. Kill 49 spiders. That's actually a really easy first task, because they're all just level... Like, I just killed the level 2 guys in the Lundbridge basement. So they're going to do zero damage to me, and they only have 2 health each. Nice, quick task, and not going to have any danger of dying already. So that's a... That's a great thing to start off with, actually. I'll, t I'll definitely take that. Oh, what's that? What's that 25 coins doing in there? Uh, I'm just going to... Spend a couple seconds sorting my bank right now. All right, here we go. Um, nothing else I can really bring with me, anyways. Here we are in the Lumbridge basement. My lovely little spiders. Oh, I can even save spot them. Wow, that's not really necessary because these guys' max hit is zero. But uh, anyways, yeah, this should be nice, easy, quick task. Not really much to see here. I don't think they can even drop anything. Like I, I think they literally have a chance to drop 
nothing at all. Like, not bones, not coins, not clue scrolls, just absolutely nothing. So, not really going to be anything too exciting to see here for this one. Hey, level 2 magic. That's the first level on the account. And another level. I probably don't need to announce every single level or else uh, this is going to be a little bit of unnecessary editing on my part. I decided I should actually probably save my runes. It's kind of silly to waste them on these guys. So I'll just start my melee training. Just start leveling up some strength levels. Taking these guys. Hey, look at that. Slayer level 2, buddy. At this rate, I'll be at 99 in no time. All right, Teriel, what's going to be my second task? Kill rats. Oh, that's that's pretty much the same thing as spiders. They're just defenseless little 2 HP creatures. All right, you little fuckers. The exterminators here. Time to take you all out. Or, I mean, at least, at least 49 of you. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Oh, how could I have been so foolish? Who cares about the little guys? The giant rats can drop both bones and meat. So I can start my prayer and cooking already. Oh, what the hell was I thinking? I already wasted two kills on the babies. Just gonna take a quick br coffee break to uh, collect my free runes. Oh, uh, thank you, Magic Combat Tutor. That's a, that's a long name. Did did you get it? Did your parents give you that name or? All right, I'm starting to take a bit of damage from these little guys, so I'm gonna come cook their meat. And oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, I forgot that I can't. Oh, I have to do this quest, don't I? Okay, well, I guess this is gonna be my first quest point. Uh. I figured I'd just get this out of the way now. Why not? You know, I kind of want to use this range anyway. It's pretty close to the bank up top on the top of the cat on the top of the castle. So I'll just unlock this guy right now. Um, and then it'll be this quest is needed for recipe for disaster anyways. Not that I can really use the recipe for disaster gloves or the RFD gloves for short. Uh, but I'll, I'll be able to unlock the bank in the basement. So kind of want to get this done anyways. In the long run, it's going to be something I want to do. So might as well do it now since I kind of need to cook this food. Got to get some milk, grab some eggs, pick some wheat, turn it into flour, and unlock the range. All right, let's start cooking these guys. I just ran up here to Draenor because uh, apparently these little guys in the Draenor Cabbage Patch, not only do they heal you 1 HP, they also grant you 1 defense level. All right, that's my second task completed. Turiel, what you got for me, buddy? goblins oh those are nice i can actually get some gears now i can actually get some gear now uh, i think the guys in the goblin village are the ones that drop like actual weapons and stuff right some weapons and some gear wait what is a cup of tea there's a cup of tea spawn here what like Cups of tea, they heal three and they give you like a little attack bonus. There's just a spawn here for them? Oh wow, I could just pick it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop I'll be back in a bit. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be abusing this tea spawn in the future. Here we are at the goblin village. Um these guys have got a way better drop table than the ones that are in Lumbridge there. As for weapons, these guys can drop bronze spears, bronze axes, and uh, scimitars. I mean, the bronze spear and the bronze axe are obviously going to be probably worse than just using my fist, but uh, the bronze scimitar would be a decent upgrade compared to just like punching and kicking. Both types of goblins can drop beginner clue scrolls, but I think that these guys are the only ones that can drop easy clue scrolls as well. So I could get both types of clues here. Also, these guys can drop a red cape, which I mean, it wouldn't do much, but it'd be a really early cape slot out of the way because I don't really know how many other places I can get cape slots from, you know, so. Getting a cape slot would be uh, pretty funny to get really early on. Hey, level four defense. Oh, what's, oh, the goblin head. Uh, I don't think I can use that for a little while because I'll have to get to Arceus and get favor and stuff. But uh, yeah, I should save the old heads. I'm pretty sure you don't need to do any quests or gain XP and any skills from doing Arceus favor, do you? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll, fig I'll figure it out later but uh y'all hang on to these heads i can probably use them to train prayer in the future as for the spear that i got i don't think it's better i'm pretty sure bronze spear is worse dps than uh just fighting with your fists and you're kicking so i'm probably just not i'm mean, yeah i'm probably just not gonna use it 
I've been picking up this uh, goblin, the colored goblin armor, but I don't think I can use it for anything. Like, I don't think you can use the colored stuff for the quests, so probably not even a point. Oh, look at that. First beginner clue scroll. Let's see. Can I use it or can I uh, do the first step? What? Open up. Reldo, strange device. Well, that's going to be kind of far away, but I need to get a spade anyways. Uh, spade. Where can I get a spade from again? All right, there's a spade that spawns behind uh, the door here in Felidor. Oh, I'll just grab one of those. Well, thank you. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot this stuff is also from the uh, tutorial island. Uh, even though it doesn't really matter, um, you know, I can obtain them from other like you know, I can. It's, it's runes and it's ammunition and it's like tools. I'm not gonna wield them, so I'm I'm just gonna drop them anyways though, just because you know it's from Tutorial Island. It's not from area in the game i don't know man i just i don't i don't i don't want it i don't want tutorial island stuff so i'm just gonna drop it all righty first step completed talk to hans walking around oh well it's perfect do i have a teleport i do all right hans um are we going back to reldo all right let's go back to reldo then i mean it's it's my slayer task i can't just i can't just walk away and let it live can i oh i'm a dummy i already had the thing in my inventory i didn't need to come to reldo I guess, oh, I could just keep this thing in my bank then, couldn't I? I don't, like, need to ever come back to Reldo. I can just keep this thing in my bank. Okay, well, drain our manor, I guess it is. And that's the casket. What's it? Oh, what? That's gear for all three combat styles, man. The oak shortbow is amazing. I can actually, oh, wait, no, oaks are going to require level five. Okay. So, but that's cool though. I only need to worry about getting to level five range, and then I can actually use that thing um, with the arrows that I can buy. But uh, yeah, look at that. I got it. I got a weapon, steel battle axe. I'm pretty sure that that must be better than just punching, right? Um, then I got a robe top, so that's gonna be good for a little bit of magic bonus. It's gonna be nice. Time for a new task. Serial got some cows for me. Okay, okay. You know that's oh, those are nice. Actually, I can start doing crafting as well with the. Um, the cowhide that I get, I'll be able to uh, tan those in the Alcarid and then start training some crafting. I should make some more armor, you know, get some, make some boots, make some gloves for myself, eventually make like a chess piece and a play potty. So, uh, yeah, cows are actually pretty good, pretty good task for me. I figured now that I got a few Slayer levels up and uh, got a decent lead on my quest points, I'm um, just over here in Artie, buying some rope and some other stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab that. It's just like some tools. Uh, arrows. Ooh. Only one coin each. That's very nice. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy some rope and some other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go do the... I'm gonna go do the waterfall quest and, uh, get my attack and strength up, baby. So today he's, like, asking for help because your idiot sat and fell into the river again. So then I immediately jump into the river head first, like the white knight that I am. Talk to this little kid and... He doesn't want to listen to me because he's a little shit. So I come to this house here. I search through the, the bookshelves and find a... I don't know what the book's for, but I, I have the book now. And I came over to this guy. He's shaped like a bowling pin. And he's giving me a special, special magical rock. I, I, I'm so lost, man. All right. I kind of got distracted and wanted to come up here and unlock the uh, minigame teleport to Barbarian Assault. Is there no... Although there's like a big, long cutscene training... Thing. I'm actually able to just skip the cutscene. Okay, I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Got a necklace. Why, why am I even here right now? Like I don't even I don't even remember why I'm supposed to be here. Is this like part? Is this even part of the quest? Holy! Here we are. This is the moment I have all been waiting for. Oh, look at those XPs. Look at that XP drop. Oh my God. Oh, 31, 31. Oh. That's a that's a bit of a time saver, isn't it? Holy crap. Level 125. Oh my god. Oh man, this stuff would have been worth so much. But uh, I can't keep items that uh, I get from quests. I mean, I can keep the quest items and throw them in the quest like tab. But uh, yeah, I can't keep like things to try and sell the shops and stuff. Because uh, those things have got to be, that kind of stuff has got to come from like the actual Slayer monsters, at least indirectly. But uh, yeah, it's sad to see this, those items go on the ground. But um, 
the real reward from this was the XP, obviously. That was the that was the whole point of doing this. All right, well, with the quest completed, nothing really else to do here. Um, I'm, I'm kind of stuck, though, because I don't have any way to get out of here. Um, waiting for the teleports to cool down. So after escaping from the waterfall quest little dungeon there, um, I'm now killing some cows. Uh, holy cow, just punched a four. Oh, I'm punched, look at that, I just two punched them. Oh man, my strength level is so high now. But yeah, as I probably said before, I think, um, these cows are going to be really good for getting crafting and cooking as well. Um, not only is it just going to be tr for training crafting, but I can actually make like some range gear. So it'll probably going to be like the best kind of range gear that I'll have in the beginning. Actually might be the, the best kind of gear I have, period. If I can't get my, if I can't manage to get slots filled up, you know, if I can't get like a helmet or some boots or legs or a chest piece, then just like the leather armor might be my best stuff. Here we are back at the faithful grill that I unlocked. Oh, right. I can turn beef right into sinew for even more crafting XP. Oh, so that's just like tons of crafting XP from uh, cows then. Okay, it looks like I'm only getting like three XP drops from cooking the sinew. So I might, uh, I think I might just leave the sinew for now and just keep working on my cooking level in general. Um, I can't really do anything with sinew until I get at least tire 10 crafting. So I don't think there's a point in really going for sinew just yet, but I don't know, maybe I should make it. Now, you know what, no, let's do, let's do cooking level from now on. And then uh, this way, like, the higher the cooking level, the less chance I'll have the burn stuff. So in the future, if I want to make a bunch of sinew, um, my higher cooking level will prevent the sinew from, like, burning. You know, prevent the meat from burning when I'm making the sinew. So I think that is the smarter way to do it. Alrighty, Mr. Turio, what is going to be my next task? 33 spiders. Alrighty, go back, kill some more spiders. Alright, next task. Oh, wolves. Uh, this doesn't look good, boys. Yeah, I feel like this is probably a lost cause. Yeah, surprisingly, not taking much damage from these guys. Not that much lower level. I mean, they look like, like 11 combat levels lower. But, uh, yeah, I'm not getting hit that much. So, I think this is actually going to be pretty doable compared to the other guys. Alright, I'm over here at the witch's house now. Because, uh, I got my slayer level up a little more. You know, got a nice lead on my quest points currently. And, uh... I just, I need some, I need some more health, you know, uh, just trying to tank things that can hit like threes on you. We only have like 16 or 17 HP. Your, your health can disappear really quickly before your eyes. So just want to get my total HP up a little bit more before I continue on, especially after doing the waterfall quest, you know, I like just got a huge boost in my combat level. So the Slayer Master is going to start trying to assign me, you know, a bit more difficult things this is where some gear might be required or at least extremely helpful. So, yeah, I just want to get my HP up a little bit higher. Yeah, I just want to get my HP up a little bit higher. <laughs> no! No! No!